Breaking news, a bombshell in the Russia meddling investigation. The first criminal charges are now filed. Tonight, there's word an arrest is imminent. Who, where, or when is still a mystery tonight. CBS2 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us with the latest. Dave? We don't have a lot of answers yet, to say the least, but we're going to figure it out. After President Trump has been declaring for weeks that there's nothing to the Russian investigation and the special counsels should wrap it up, charges have reportedly now been filed tonight, and at least one defendant is expected expected to be taken into custody soon in connection with that investigation. The new reports of the first criminal charges may mean special counsel Robert Mueller is ready to move into a new, more aggressive phase in the investigation into Russian meddling in the 2016 election. But right now, there are still more questions than answers. On Friday, top attorneys who are helping the Mueller investigation were seen entering the courthouse at the Washington, D.C. federal court with a grand jury's meeting to hear testimony in the case. Some experts believe the charges could be a tactic to squeeze information from reluctant participants. With a single person that is unable or unwilling to give Mueller and his investigators anything more. It could be just a coincidence, but this news comes as the White House is unleashing a new round of attacks on Hillary Clinton. We are seeing now that if there was any collusion with Russia, it was between the DNC and the Clintons and certainly not our campaign. Friday night, President Trump tweeted out another attack on Hillary Clinton with the heading, What Happened? And then the line from a New York Post attack on Clinton entitled, How Team Clinton Played the Press for Fools on Russia. Burbank Congressman Adam Schiff questions whether the tweets are a presidential preemptive strike. Now the question is, is this being done in good faith? Uh, and it's very hard to reach the conclusion that this is done in good faith. Well, for now, the criminal charges are sealed under orders from a federal judge. But the next step could come next week, as we mentioned, if the person or persons charged surrender to the authorities or are taken into custody. Pat, back to you.